Hey guys, good news. I've uh, figured out how to plot uh, motion catch data onto the gear rig. Just kind of figuring it out with the motor. Um, it's pretty straightforward. It's created a simple character here with the uh, skinning and the whole bit. And a couple things before I go any further with your gear rig. Make sure that the rig has been set to forward connect. So middle click on the hands here, the guy the legs and switch those to Ford kinematics so they're both set to uh, zero zero is Ford kinematics and that way we can rotate these guys which BVH files are based in rotation well they're positional data but uh, you know, if it's like this point and this point relation relate to one another create a, create a rotational uh, create rotational data so anyway, that's it for that. That's all I need to do. So keep the arms uh, forward kinematic and the legs as well. With the arms, put them up into the T-pose. So rotation here is just going to be, I don't know, set this to zero, I suppose. And same thing with this guy. Pop that out to zero as well. Okay, so T-pose, perfect. Now go to, under Tools, under Animate, just pull this uh, down a little further, open up the Motor, and just get the whole menu up out of the way here. First thing we'll do is tag this rig. So tag the rig and tell it what, what bones I'm going to be uh, assigning what motion catcher data to. So a tagging session is important. Click some part of the character, the rig of the character and click on tag rig. Now you get this tag rig PPG that pops open or um, property panel, property page and I've got a file already loaded here, this gear tag so you can actually save once I tag this I can save it out. So if I have any problems with this I'll just maybe load that file one more time. Uh, the spine center geometry uh, can either be this guy I think before I had actually clicked on this one, but that might be the previous one. Let me see how this one loads up. Uh, spine root is just the base of the spine there. I think that works. Chest is this chest element here on top. Uh, pelvis, I'm going to pick the same center of geometry I did before. Oops. Alright, sorry about that. I'm just going to go ahead and tag the right leg thigh, which is right there, and the shin. So you just sort of tag as many things as you can. You know, it's not imperative you tag every single one, but the more you tag, the better the kind of artificial intelligence of motor will work to get it actually to work. There's a lot of things behind the scene to get this thing to, to function. So clavicles, that guy right there, upper arm. Uh, forearm, wrist is going to be the palm, so we'll just go ahead and hit wrist and then just skip the hand. And the, when you do the right clavicle and thigh and all that stuff, the left also gets logged in too, so just double check, make sure the uh, all the numbers here match up. There was a bug in the earlier version, but I think they fixed that since then. So, yep, all looks good. So we can save that out as a uh, call this gear tag two. Just in case this doesn't work, I can load up my previous gear tag, which I think the center of geometry was the base down here. But I think that works pretty well. I'm just pretty much go through uh, the motor stack here. It's not going to be rig to rig, although you could take an animation from one rig and apply it to another rig. That's what you do here. We're going to use mocap to rig. So mocap to rig. We're going to load up a motion capture file. This is different kinds you can load up. Uh, C3D or BVH. Go ahead and use BVH. And the BVH file location is going to be here. That's something that was actually done on our uh, motion capture studio here at uh, Flashpoint. And we're going to create a tag template for the BVH file. Same thing we did with the this main character file. I could load one up, I've already done, but 
let's go ahead and create a new one. And it loads up this big uh, thing here for the BBH file that um, we brought in. That's the scale of the file, actually. And do the same thing. So spine center geometry is going to be here. Uh, spine root, go right there. Chest, uh, I'm going to go with the chest object uh, here. Yeah. Just kind of double check, make sure the names all match up. Pelvis can be the same thing as the center geometry. Hips. Right thigh is going to be this top control. So the thigh is actually hip. Right shin is going to be knee. Right foot will be foot. Right there. Clavicle, and it's a tricky one because these clavicles are stacked one on top of the other, so it's one of these two. I think it's that one but it's named properly so yeah right color that's the one right there so right clavicle would be that guy right collar uh, right upper arm will be upper arm which is the shoulder right forearm will be the elbow which is the root for the or forearm and right wrist will be that guy skip the hand and we'll save this out and we'll call this one BVH temp template two. All right, so go ahead and hit OK. Save that out. Close this up, and there it is. Your template's already loaded, or you can just load up a previous one. Your target model is going to be the man, which we already have. It's man one. That's the the rig that we have down here generically named and simply hit apply and when I'm done flat we have the data applied to our characters so let's pull it to add a zero to the motion capture pull this out here and play so again the data is kind of uh, funky the, the needs to be cleaned up in motion builder But you can certainly clean it up and then export out a new BBH file to bring right into motor. So all the funkiness you see here is just from the original data capture. If that's properly cleaned up, this would be a perfectly good uh, setup. There you go.